hey lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you're watching this video and where you're watching me from it's your sister again give c and you're welcome to today's video okay oh, so guys today i'm back with an update about mobad's death okay you know he died and after his death his the people around him could not even wait just quickly took him you know for burial and they buried him and it was after when people started crying out that they need to know the what led to the death of this young man that that was about after one week that the nigerian police ordered for his body to be assumed you know from the grave for for his cause to be brought out from the grave and that was done immediately so that uh, the pathologist could carry out an autopsy you know test for them to know what really led to the death and that we are still waiting for the results okay for them to interpret the results to everyone for us to really know what led to the death of this young man but people noticed some things when his um, body was exhumed from the grave people noticed some things number one observation is that they saw a fresh you know blood on his grave yes they saw a fresh blood on his grave and people was like why this fresh blood on the grave of this young man that has been buried for over seven days why is the blood still fresh why is there a blood there does it mean that this young man did not actually die before he was buried does it mean that these people could not confirm the death of this man before they took him you know for burial so this has caused a mixed reaction among people people are confused they don't even know what to think and want to, and what to believe anymore about the death of this young man the Mobad. hospital that he was taken to you know to, the hospital management has released an update that when Mubad was brought to the hospital that he was not breathing that he was brought in dead okay so i think with this update from the hospital we should should we start believing that he was he was actually dead before he was buried but people are still doubting if this young man was actually dead before he was buried why the blood i think the, think the people in the medical field we have an explanation to that you know for us the layman you know to understand better there must be an explanation to that because the hospital management has already confirmed that he was brought in dead that he was dead at the time they brought him in before they took him you know for burial and as for the nurse that administered the injection to him nigerian police have invited her she is currently under their custody you know undergoing interrogation for them to really know what play that during the treatment i know the nigerian police are really doing their work and i pray that they get to the root of this okay so after his body was exhumed from the grave i think a new date is going to be fixed for his burial okay for his final burial and um two of our nigerian actresses tonto dk and eyabo ujio they have they have made a video online where the where the both of them went to shop for the you know casket that that will be used to bury to bury more bad okay so they made a video and posted it online where they went to get an expensive casket that will be used for his barrier that is that is upcoming and it's so sad it's so sad it's very very sad that this is when people actually remembered this guy although it's good that the man is trying to pay his or her last respect to him but it, it's also sad at the same time that people are only remembered when they are no more that's so sad it's so sad you know so why the police is still you know going on with the investigation of how this young man Mobad was killed and nigerian citizens have come up with their with another you know controversy again and they are saying that Mobad wife umi should go 
for a DNA test on their on their child okay on their five months old son that the child actually look actually look like sam larry one of the guy that was um disturbing the life of more bad okay so people have suggested that the lady should present the child for them to present the child for a dna test so that they will know who actually owns the child why some Nigerians said that no, that they should respect the dead, that since the young man when he was alive, since the disease when he was alive, did not, you know, request for a DNA test on his son, that they should just respect the fact that he accepted his son before he died. And why some people are alleging that one of the reasons why Sam Larry was after the life of Mobad was because he knew that the child actually belonged to him, Sam Larry, and he was like, let Mobad give him his son, and Mobad refused, and this was one of the things that led to the fights, to the troubles, to the quarrel, and everything. So... We don't really know what to believe anymore everyone is just confused and sad at the same time whenever i you know listen to the story behind the death of this young man it's always changed my mood it always make me you know to be moody and to be sad because this young man he really went through a lot actually he did not deserve or that happened to him so let me know in the comment section lovely people what is your take on this about the expensive casket that they want to get for him for him to be buried what do you think about the dna test that people are su uh, suggesting that should be you know carried out what do you think about the you know fresh blood that was seen on the grave when his body was brought out you know for the opposite test let me know all this let me know your thoughts guys on all this okay i just say let me update you lovely people a little on what is currently going on okay with the young man that just died that his death was so you know sudden and and painful okay so lovely people i will see lovely people in my next video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed and as for my returning subscribers i thank you so much for always stopping by to support me see you lovely people okay bye